Okay, alright, let's move on to Gen 2. Um, Meganium? It's like, really bad. I think, like, Meganium's, like, really, really bad. Just because of how, um, it's not as favored as Venusaur is in, like, its region. So, yeah. I think it's, like, low B tier. Typhlosion, on the other hand, is, like, really, 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 really good. Honestly, might be, like, right here. That's what I think. Typhlosion's, like, so good. It's, like, easily the best starter. And then for Relegator, in GSC, it's, like, not good, but in, like, Heart Gold Soul Silver, it's, like, it gets a little better. I don't know. I think it's, like, right here. Furret. Now we gotta be careful because, like, Sacred Gold Storm Silver exists. <laughs> so, let's see. I think Furret is, like, pretty darn good. Is it? I don't know. I think it's, like, too weak, actually. Never mind. I take it back. It's, like, pretty awful. I still think that... In be like, between Feraligator and Gyarados, it's Gyarados 100%. Like, Feraligator's so damn replaceable. And plus, we're here talking about how, uh, like, Gen 4 doesn't have many fire types, but look at the Gen 2 decks. The only new fire types, other than, um, Typhlosion, are Macargo and Houndoom. And Entei, but, like, that's assuming if you ever catch it. And then, like, something else is banned. But we'll get to that later. Uh, I think Noctowl is like underrated, but not by a large margin. It's pretty good uh, early game, but that's it. That's it. It's like really good early game. Honestly, it's like right here. Ah, actually no. I think it's like right here. Is Entei post game? No, you can catch it. It's just that first off, it's going to be over leveled as hell. But second off, um. It's not that good, but we're, we'll get to it. Ledeon is like complete and utter garbage. <laughs> like, why would you use uh, this thing at all? Uh, Ariados is something similar. Crobat is like fantastic, dude. It is like so good. Um, I think it's like right here. Uh, like, Crobat is like one of the best Pokemon in the game just because like it's super fast um, in all has a great defensive typing, it even has recovery, uh, so, yeah, I think it's, like, S tier. I think it's, like, easily S tier, actually. Easily S tier. Why would you, why would you, like, give up an encounter for, like, Crobat? It's so good. Now, Lantern. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, let's not think about Emerald Kaizo, but for a bit. I think this thing is, like, pretty good. Um... It's an electric type, which gives it an edge over um, the other water types and all, but like I think it's like it might honestly be a tier. I think like right here. That's a really def good defensive typing. Uh Togetic is like complete and utter garbage, except maybe in Gen 6 and onward. But even then, like why would you use a uh, Togetic when you have Togekiss, so. Welcome to, like, low C tier. That pronunciation- What do you mean? What do you mean? Don't make fun of my pronunciation of Togetic, hello? Okay, then. <laughs> Zatu has Magic Bounce, right? Yeah, but the problem is, you're not using it all that often, except maybe against, like, status. So, I'd say it's, like, pretty okay. It's, like, right here. I think overall it's pretty fantastic. Honestly, it's underrated. The emphasis is on the Togetic. Oh god, I can't believe then if that's the case then oh my gosh I can't believe it pronouncing um, Delibird wrong this whole time. It's clearly a uh, delibird <laughs> Because it's deliver and bird so it's delibered. I can't believe that we've been pronouncing it wrong. Oh my god Blastoise is no Blastis <laughs> Yeah, Blastoise is now Blastis. Yeah, exactly. Don't make fun of my pronunciation. Uh, Ampharos is, like, pretty good in Nuzlocke. I think it's, like, one of the best Pokemon you can get in, like, Gen 6 and Gen 2. Yeah, Gen 6 is, like, a pretty, uh, crazy, uh, argument. But I think it's, like, pretty damn good. So. Is it better than Mega Blastoise? 
honestly, you can argue it. And then Mega Ampharos is like a tiny bit better than like uh, regular Ampharos. I don't think it's better than Alolan Raichu though. Mega Ampharos is bad. Really? Interesting. Wow, what a debate that we're gonna have, huh? Mega Charizard Y is better than X. <laughs> okay, alright. Now I know you're capping. <laughs> No, in all honesty, I do think, like, Mega Ampharos is, like, slightly better, uh, than, like, uh, Ampharos, but, like, okay. Drought, not even a joke. I mean, again, you can argue, like, which one you have, but it, it depends on, like, which game you're playing, right? Because if you have access to one, you won't have access to the other. So that's why I put them, like, literally in the same place. So, like, if you're playing Y, you will never get access to X. If you get access to X, you'll never get access to Y. Again, you can, like, uh, place it however you want, but, like, overall, I think it's, like, uh... Yeah, I guess you can argue uh, Mega Charizard Y does a lot more damage, but I think Mega Charizard X overall is, like, a lot better. But still, it hits redonkulously hard. But I guess that argument can be made for Mega Charizard Y, too. Okay. I'll go with it. Uh, Belossum? It gets Quiver Dance uh, in the more recent generations, but that's that's it's the more recent generations, and like in in the older gens, it's like not as good. It's honestly like right here. Honestly, Meganium's like high C. Sad thing is, I love the Gen Six decks. It is such a good regional deck. Oh my god. It's one of the best regional decks ever, actually. Uh, Azumarill is a really weird case where it gets better and better in every single generation, uh, but like you want to probably average it out, and I think it's like right here. It's really, really strange. I think overall, like this, it's like really, really, really good. Pseudo Wudo is like pretty good. I think it's one of the better Pokemon that you can add to your uh, team in GSC. Honestly, I don't think it's better than. Oh, it might be actually. I think it's better than Aerodactyl. Politoed. Nobody cared about this thing until Gen 5 where it got Drizzle, but even then you don't get access to it too often, so I think it's pretty bad. So, I think it's like, like right here. It's bulky, I guess, but still. Jump Bluff is like, not. Jump Bluff is like, not good. It ha it's fast, I guess. It has access to a lot of utility. So I guess it, I guess it has like an advantage over these grass types then. Uh, I would be pissed off if I got Apom as an encounter, I'm not gonna lie. I would be absolutely shattered. Subsea's really good on, uh, this thing. I think it's, like, low, like, high C tier. Sunflora is, like, super slow, and that's the biggest issue with it. I think it's, like, right here. Yanma, do I think it's good? No, not really. We could baton pass, but, like, uh... I don't know, I don't think it's that good, I think it's like right here. Dude, Gen 2 has so many shit Pokemon, oh my god. Uh, however, Quagsire is like pretty darn good. Water Absorb is like a really good ability. Uh, so like I think it's be made better than like a lot of other like water types. Actually, now that you, now that I say this, it's like right here. Okay, I'll put it right here. Yeah, Unaware and Water Absorb. Okay, but Unaware is like hidden ability and you don't get that often. But I think Quagsire is like pretty darn good. Espeon? Hmm. Dare I say it? I don't think Espeon is as good as, like, say... Slowbro. But I do think it's, like, A tier at the very least. I don't think it's as, like, ridiculously high, though. Umbreon, on the other hand. Uh, I think it's, like, high A tier, maybe S tier. Because if no, the problem is like if you don't get the TMs for like toxic stalling, this thing is like not as good. But even then, like its bulk is like super good. So I'd say it's like right there. Murkrow, I'd probably be a little pissed to get it, <laughs> unless uh, unless I like get it for like Honchkrow. So I'd say it's like low C tier. I've never used this thing before. Slowking is like not as good as Slowbro. Sure, it's like the same thing, but like, um, yeah. I think it's like right here. Galarian Slowking is very much S tier. Okay, but I've never used it. I can't judge. Mischievous? It's not bad, but it could be better. It's a ghost type. It's one of the few ghost types that we have here, but like also it's like not that strong. 
I'd say it's like right here. This seems like a pretty fitting place for it. Honestly, I think Pinsir's like ranked a little too low. Yeah, Mischievous is not bad. If you get Eevee like Mischievous, uh, it's like pretty okay. The problem, however, is where do you get Mischievous? I think Mischievous is like post game in its debut generation, which kind of sucks. <laughs> the. Yeah. Mount Silver at night. <laughs> oh my god. And then you get a trait. Okay, I don't think this is that good. I really don't think it's that good. And Sun and Moon, maybe you can get Eevee Light for it, but like, I don't know. Maybe it's not as good as I think. Maybe it's like lower B tier. Uh, Unknown is like clearly S tier, dude. Uh, it's like, it's probably, you could argue actually banning uh, Unknown just because of its like, whoa, what did I do there? Uh, you could argue banning Unknown just because it gets every single hidden power type. Um, it's like uh, pretty decent stats all around. Um, it's, no, dude, this thing's like a, one of the worst Pokemon ever. <laughs> you can't use this thing ever. <laughs> you cannot use this thing, dude. Uh, Wobbuffet, I honestly think is like high A tier. Honestly, I think this thing's like really, really good. Choice fix hidden power psychic unknown. Copium? <laughs> Yeah, and yeah, Unknown's like terrible, it's one of the worst Pokemon in the game. But yeah, I think Wobbuffet is like fantastic. It's scary to play against, yeah, I know. But also like if you use it, it's also really good for yourself as well. And you can even like trade uh, with Destiny Bond. Oh, also I think this thing gets like Encore as well. Hang on, I need to check this. Where do you get Wobbuffet though? It's my only issue. Where do you get uh, this? Dark Cave, yeah, that's actually really, really good. Safari Zone? Dude, what? You can get it free, oh my god! It's a, it's a... What the fuck, dude? That's insane. That's actually wild. You can even trade with uh, Curtis and Yancey and Nimbasa. Holy shit. Reflection Cave? What the fuck, dude? That's so busted! It gets Encore. That is insane. I think it, I think it gets Encore first in Gen 3. That is ridiculous. Oh my god. So if you don't have an Encore Pokemon, this is so good to get. I think it's like one of the best, one of the better encounters like you could possibly get. Uh, Giraffe Egg is like very average. <laughs> I think it's like slightly worse than, well actually, hmm. I think it's like slightly worse than um, Zatu. Is it better than these fighting types though? I'd say no. Maybe not even. Wait, what? This... No, this is like ranked way too high. Never mind. I take it back. It's like somewhere here. <laughs> Foragers, good typing, good bulk, but I also think um, it's like I don't know. I think it's like uh, low A tier or like high B tier at best. Yeah, Fortress is like good. I think if you have the correct TM, say like Toxic for example, I think this thing can get like really, really, really threatening. But I think overall it's just like not as useful. So, yeah. Uh, Dunsparce, why would you use this thing? This is like really, really bad. Um, it, I mean, it does have a few niches. You know, I never have put it in like low C. Uh, Goliar, I don't see a reason for you to use it because like in Gen. In Gen 4, especially, like, why would you, like, uh, use, uh, Gligar instead of, like, say, uh, Gligar Gligar is just, like, bad. I think it's, like, right here. Uh, Steelix is, like, a high A tier at the very least. Gligar Eviolet is good, but yeah, why not use, uh, Gliscor then? I think, like, this thing is, like, super good. I think Steelix is, like, great. Wow, you're really, you're really trying to get me to, like, <laughs> like, uh, go for Gligar, uh, Eviolite, huh? Uh, Mega Steelix is, like, a lot better, but I don't, I don't see a reason why you should use it. Uh, so honestly, I think it's, like, slightly worse than, um, Steelix. It's obviously better if you, uh, like, have it as your only Mega, but why would you use it when you have, like, other Megas to use? So I'd honestly, like, put it, like, say, like, here. I think it's like regular Steelix is probably better. Uh, let's see. Granbull? Hmm. 
so again it's one of those cases where it gets good like it gets better every generation but i think overall i think it's like right here it's like right here at least ah no it's worse than tauros overall because like fairy type in more recent generations it gets intimidate pretty often uh, you can also give it really hard hitting attacks and all. I think it's like pretty good. Put Shuckle in S tier, you won't. Oh my god. Alright, well, moving on. Cool Fish, I think it's like bad, no? Because Intimidate's like hidden ability, right? Yep, Intimidate. So, Intimidate's hidden ability, so I'd say it's like pretty bad. I think it's like right here. Honestly, Machoke is like ranked way too low. It should be like right here. Maybe right here. That seems good. Scizor, I think it's like A tier. It was really good. I don't think it's better than Steelix, but um, it has bullet punch. It has like hard hitting bug type moves and all. Um, so I'd say pretty darn good. Now, Mega Scizor on the other hand, I'd argue that it's actually like way better. Probably S tier. I'd say I'd say like uh, Mega Scizor is like. S tier maybe. Scizor is much better than Steelix. Hmm. 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 Um, it might be, but I don't know. Look at that bullet punch here. Does it get bullet punch in Gen 4? Yeah, it does. Look at that. Ah, Platinum Heart Gold Soul Silver. This thing's so good, dude. Um. Yeah, actually, yeah, this thing's like way better. I, I, I don't think it's like better than Starmie though, actually. What else does it get? Um, U-turn, okay, that's pretty good. Brick Break if you don't have anything better. It gets Psycho Cut and Cross Poison in Gen 8. <laughs> okay. Super Power, yeah, all right. If you don't have like uh, access to Bullet Punch for a time, then you can use Iron Head. So, look at Scyther too. No, I already I already took a look at Scyther. Actually, yeah, now that I think about it, Scyther's like ranked a little too low. I think it's like right here. Vacuum wave. <laughs> what a great start. Quick attacks, not stab, unfortunate. Wing attack is pretty good though. Uh, sword stance at level 57, by the way. Uh, I honestly want to move it below Beedrill, because Beedrill's like at least useful in the early game. Scyther, you don't get it as early, so I think it's like overall less useful. Uh, Shuckle's like obviously like S tier, uh, just because of how like bulky it is. It has a bunch of, uh, like utility options. Um, it also can be like super annoying to take down, so it's clearly S tier, dude. Honestly, though, you could argue Shuckle be- well, the problem is it's really stupid to grind. I'd say it's like right over like say here. Is it better than Kangaskhan? Maybe. Maybe it's better than all these bugs here. Uh, I, I don't think it's like better than Charizard and Warden like this though. Yeah, unironically, Shuckle's pretty darn good. I think it's even buffed in like the Kaizo games. Heracross. Okay, I don't have to tell you that this is a great encounter to get. Um, it's really, 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 really fantastic. It has guts and all, close combat. It's so damn good. Like, why would you give up an encounter for, like, anything else? If Heracross is there, you should probably get Heracross. Okay, so you can get it in Santaloon uh, Forest, and why? You can get it uh, in Route 120. 127. Okay, so we can consider it. I'd say Mega Heracross is really, 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 really good. It has a ridiculously high attack stat, so yeah. I'd say Mega Heracross is like just better than Mega Beedrill, maybe. So I'm actually gonna place it below Mega Her like Mega Beedrill, so yeah. Sneasel is like not good, right? It only has like one niche. Uh, that's like beating Will. I'd say it's like it's like right here. Ursarang. Um, it has guts and quick feet, I think. But I think otherwise, and it has a pretty good attack stat. 
but overall I think it's just bad. But where do I put it though? You c I think I'll place it like... I think right here is fine. Sneasel has no ice moves? That's true. But like, if you get an ice ice move like for like, like in Harkle Soul Silver, what is uh, Sneasel's move set actually? Oh god. I'm, I'm prepared to be disappointed. We're gonna look at Gen 2 for Sneasel first and then like judge it. I think it's like really bad though. It's like its best move in uh, Gen 2 is Shadow Ball. Dude, this move set sucks. What the hell? It's so bad. It gets Metal Claw at level 65. Okay, alright then. Yeah, this moveset is god awful. Dude, holy shit. <laughs> oh my god, it's so bad. Alright, let's sneeze on this game though. Let's see, Heart Gold Soul Silver. I mean, it gets Fan Attack. Uh, it gets Ice Shard, so you'd have to like wait to evolve it for Weavile. You can't get Ice Punch though, except in like tutors. Okay. Sneasel is like pretty average, average at best. I think it's good where it is right now. Macargo? Hmm. I think overall Macargo's just like pretty average now. I think it's better than Flareon. Pyloswine? It has a really bad moveset. Well, move pool, so like I'd say it's like pretty sucky. I want to argue it's like right here. How good is Pile of Swine actually? What a good video. What a good video series. So let's check out Gen 2 Pile of Swine. What moves does it get? Doesn't even get Earthquake. <laughs> it doesn't even get Earthquake in GSC. In Crystal, it doesn't even get G like Earthquake. Hey, this is so trash, what the fuck? <laughs> Alright, yeah, no. Pillow Swine's just like really bad. It might be even worse than like Sneasel. Corsola is like garbage. I don't see why you'd want to use it at all, really. I don't think it's better than Pikachu. Is Octillery good? It's slow, but it has a great move pool. I don't think so. I don't think Octillery is that good. I think it's like slightly better than Yanma. Moody is a hidden ability. I think overall, like, uh, Octillery is really bad. Delibird is, like, not good, right? <laughs> I think it's actually better than, like, a Sneasel, because, like, it actually, like, gets uh, good moves, like, later on. But, like, it's just, like, bad, right? Actually, it might not even be that good. I don't know. Like, these are just bad. Mantine? Mantine? I don't know how you pronounce it, but I think it's, like, pretty okay as a water type. So it's like right here. Put Delibird in F tier. I mean, okay, yeah, I guess like it makes sense. Skarmory is like fantastic. Hello. Uh, like it's pr actually like it's actually like pretty accessible in a lot of games. The issue is actually no, since they don't swap uh, that much, uh, I'd say it's like pretty good. I don't think it's better than uh, Steelix though. Yeah, Mantine has Water Absorb, I know. I just don't think it's as good as, like, Polyrath, maybe. Because it doesn't hit as hard. Houndoom is, like, one of the very few fire types that you can get. I'd say, like, uh, Houndoom's pretty okay, just because, like, it's rare. Dark Fire is a unique typing, so... I'd say, like, Houndoom's, like... A tier. Do I think it's better than Espeon? Yeah, I think so. Steelix rated too high? You think so? It might be. We'll have it like down here. And I do still think that Steelix is better than Mega Steelix and like Nuzlocke, just because like you have better Megas to use. Like Scizor, for example. Mega Houndoom? Do you use it? I'd say, yeah, you could use it. It's a it's a much better Pokemon than Houndoom. I, I, I argue, yeah, you could use it. However, actually, what is, where do you get Houndoomanite? Route 16, okay, all right then. And Lava Ridge Town after you beat, okay, so it's not even that accessible actually. All right then. Yeah, I'd still think it's like right here, but okay. Kingdra is like fantastic 
uh, especially like, uh, like gen, it's like two to five. Uh, I think it's like right here, just because like before, it's like pretty darn good. It has a great typing. Uh, it's a very interesting dragon typing and all. Um, and it hits surprisingly hard, so. Houndoom is accessible in Platinum, but Houndoom higher. My issue with it is that, like, we're talking, first off, like, Houndoom is, like, frail. It doesn't get Intimidate. Um, because, like, Drayano games and stuff, like, have, uh, Intimidate Houndoom. I think it's one of the better Pokemon. Uh, and then Mega Houndoom is, like, not as accessible. Donphan? I'd say Donphan's, like, really underrated. I think Donphan's, like, pretty darn good. Houndoom has flash fire? Okay, so. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think Donphan's, like, pretty darn good. The issue is, like, its moveset's, like, not as good. Uh, I don't think it gets Earthquake uh, in, like, a lot of games, right? Yeah, it does. Level 46. That's really late, though, actually. Hmm. Level 49 Earthquake. Okay, so I think it's Gen 2 where it doesn't get Earthquake and level up. Oh, no, it does get Earthquake. Okay. So... It, it just sucks. It just sucks, like, without Earthquake. But, like, even with Earthquake, it's, like, okay. Um, honestly, I'm inclined to put Dawnfan slightly lower than... Is it better than Typhlosion? I don't think so. Porygon 2 is, like, pretty good. Uh, if you get it with, like, Eviolet, it's also really, really bulky. It's one of the most annoying Pokemon to actually take down. I'd say it's, like, uh, high A. Oh, where do you get Porygon 2, actually? Love Porygon, but where's Porygon? <laughs> Sell it on Game Corner. Okay, so you just don't get it until post game. All right then. Uh, Rocket Game Corner, you don't get upgraded until Trophy Garden, so you have a chance to get it. Okay, so free Porygon in Platinum. That that is notable, actually. Yeah, overall, I think that's pretty okay, pretty okay. It's just the issue is like accessibility. I think it's like right here. I also think that Executor is better than Butterfree. Stanler has Intimidate, but that's it. And that's like, yeah, I don't know. And this makes for a pretty okay Pokemon, but I don't think it's like as good as like, say like Ursaring, for example. I think it's like right here. Smeargle is really, really, really awkward to rank because like it could either be the best Pokemon in the game or the worst Pokemon in the game. And I think I want to like say it's closer to like C tier just because of like, uh, the moves that you need are like super specific, so it's just like, I think it's like C tier here. If you get like the correct moves, then it's like higher in the like A tier, maybe S tier, but I'd say it's like uh, C tier. Hitmontop gets Intimidate, that's pretty good, um, so I'd argue um, it's like around here, maybe. Uh, accessibility though, where do you get Hitmontop? Where do you get even Tyro? Keo in Mount Mortar. So you can get it free, and then you have a chance to get from the Odd Egg. Yeah, this is not really that accessible. Okay, all right, never mind. Okay, so I'd say like Hitmontop, if I placed it already, it's like right over, like, I think it's just as good as these fighting types, actually, never mind. Mill Tank is really annoying to fight, but also I think that adds points for it. So I'd say it's like closer to, is it better than Kingler? Is it better than Mr. Mine? Uh, I'd say it's like pretty good. It's pretty decent. Uh, you can argue banning Blissey. <laughs> I've considered banning it a few times because I, I, the times I've used it, it made uh, gameplay super trivial. But like, if you ever decide not to ban it, then like you can put it like right here. All right, Raiko. So I think this is like S tier, hundred percent. It's like just as good as Ry uh, Zapdos. Entei, on the other hand, is like not as good. I think it's actually just as good as like say, and like Charizard and uh, Moltres. Yeah. And then Suicune, you could argue banning uh, just because like of how like ridiculously stupid it is to like uh, kill and all. Yeah, I'd say it's like I, I personally argue banning uh, Suicune just because of how bulky it is. You can almost never die with it. You get a free one in like crystal. Like that's ridiculous. They get inner focus. Yeah, 
but that's hidden ability. Haha. <laughs> and you can, like, put it, like, right, right, like, right there. Uh, Tyranitar, I think, is, like, A tier. Uh, with its ability, Sandstream, it's, like, pretty darn good. Um, but the problem is, like, Sand can also hurt your team as well, and there's not many Pokemon that can, uh, really do well in Sand. So I'd say, like, Tyranitar is, like, high A tier and nothing else. And then, personally, why would you use Mega Tyranitar? I think it's- I, I think because, like, a lot of people wouldn't use it that much, I think it performs slightly worse. So... I'd say it's just shy of, like, here, so. Also, where do you get, uh, Tyranitar at? Because I know you can get, uh, Tyranitar in, uh, Y. Because this is post-game, both with black and white are both post-game. Uh, see, so you can get, uh, oh yeah, Pupitar. Yeah, I'd say, yeah, you can just, like, get it. So, like, Y, it's easier to get, but X, you have to get it by Friend Safari. Um, and then, this is, like, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I don't, I, Tyranitar is, like, ridiculously good, but, like, even then, you don't get it often. So, I'd say it's, like, Mega Tyranitar is, like, right here. Evolves too late to be, uh, viable. Okay, well, what about in X and Y? The Elite Four is, uh, level 65, so I'd say it's, like, pretty darn good. I'd say, yeah, it's, like, if you get it in, like, a horde, and you can pretty easily use it. Uh, Lugia's banned, obviously, Ho-Oh's banned, obviously, and then Celebi, I... I personally argue banning Celebi just because it's not accessible, but even if you used it, I don't think it'd be that good. Don't ban Celebi? Well, why? Celebi's not that good. Okay, but also, do you even get Celebi in like any of the regular Pokemon games? I mean, maybe in Randomizer. Okay, fine, I'll rank it. Because I personally consider banning Celebi. I guess that doesn't make it a ban, you're right. Alright, never mind, I'll rank it. Alright, I don't think Celebi is actually, like, that good, but, um, you could make it work. I think it's, like, actually, like, right here, maybe. Alright, that's Gen 2. Uh, I'm going to, uh, get some, get a small snack to munch on for a bit. I'll be right back, so.